again. I just wanted to say howdy and give you a quick little update on how ice cream sandwich for GTAB is coming up. Uh, it's doing really, really wonderful. We've got the interface nice and smooth. We've got a lot of tweaks that we've done to the interface itself where we've got uh, very fine modular control of all of the resizable app or widgets that are on the desktop. Uh, the uh, user interface is nice and fast. As you can see, we'll page through our different options here. And something that's uh, pretty neat, our capacitive buttons are working. If I can push the right button here. That one, yes. And uh, now we're going to home. And uh, let's see, what else do we have for you here? Uh, let's uh, jump to our file browser and let's take a look and see we have sound and the sound works pretty darn well it's still a work in progress so it's not uh, not something we want to release to the general public but that's alright uh, let's see what else do we have um, let's take a look at some of the settings here um, not too bad. It's been four hours on the battery, and I think we're down to 77%, as you can see down here in the bottom corner. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, one thing I do want to show you here, uh, my Bluetooth. It's paired with my phone, my Wi-Fi. It sees everything that's in the neighborhood. That's fantastic. Well, one last thing before we say goodnight is uh, I want to show you a little bit of the fun that is the G-Tab. Oh, We're running off of the USB stick. Nice high definition graphics. It's absolutely wonderful. So that's all I got for you right now. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of small things that I've missed, but thanks to the kernel devs and the ROM devs that we have, uh, we've come up with a fantastic pre-alpha. We're getting there, folks. Hang in.